there. It's nice to see you. How are you doing? That's great. Yeah, no, that's good to hear. I've been doing, you know, fairly well. Thank you for coming over. I really appreciate it. I actually wanted to practice drawing. <laughs> Thank you for being such a reliable model. I really appreciate it. Um, especially because, you know, as you know, this time I'm trying to do a full body drawing, which I want to do sort of, um, you know, to proper scale. So I was going to do some full body measurements. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah, really? Okay. So that's good. Um, basically, I'm just going to be measuring your face, uh, parts of your face, and your arms, and your legs, and your head, and your neck, and just torso, whatever. So that I can practice drawing. Um, and then after that, I was thinking maybe I could just grab a quick sketch of you just to sort of have to get started, you know? Like maybe, maybe I'll see if I can borrow you again at some point just to, you know, get a real proper sketch with a real proper model, but we'll get to that. Is it okay if I do a quick sketch of you after? Okay, that's great. Okay, so I have this notebook. It's actually super cool. It's a Zelda notebook, which of course it is. It's got this little Ooh, very shiny Triforce page. It's got a little royal crest on the bottom. It's pretty cool. I got it from a Secret Santa like a couple years ago. It's great. Um, so this is what I thought I would use to keep my notes in. Just because I think they're use they'll be useful in the future if I ever <laughs> if I ever need someone to do like some measurements to draw, but as I think about it, that sounds kind of creepy. I think it'll be useful in the future just to keep your measurements. I'm sorry. Is, is it still okay? Okay. In that case, let's get started. I've got my trusty mechanical pencil. It's 0.7 mechanical pencil. And I'll get started. Why don't we get started with your face, just because that's sort of the easiest thing to, to do. Mm -hmm. So we're going to sort of do like your head width and length. I really should prepare this beforehand, and I'm really sorry that I don't. That I didn't. Width and length, and um, sort of your jaw length. And maybe like the smallest point of your chin across. And forehead to brow. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll need to do from near your brows, brow to the edge of your head, between between the brows, and yeah. So brows between. Um, next, I think I'll try to get your eye length and width. Is that cool? And nose, eye to the tip of your nose, or to the start of your nose. <laughs> nose width. measurements, not even counting the fact that, like, I have to do each eye and each brow and all of that, so that's enough for now. We'll pro probably think of some more to do. Okay, so first thing, got my tape measure. I'm just going to do the length of your head like that. Is that okay? And 
the length, oh no, sorry, the width of your head. Okay. Yeah, I know this can be just such a weird thing, but drawing is so mathematical if you want it to be, you know. And if you're not very good at it, it's useful for it to be math sort of mathematical. Um, anyone can measure things out. <laughs> it's, it's useful practice. Let me do your, oh, well, I'm gonna do your jaw length, so sort of like from your cheekbone to the bottom of your chin, okay? Okay. Your chin width. Forehead to your sort of brow line or brow brow bone, I guess. Is that yeah. I'm sorry. I'll stop saying is that okay? It's getting repetitive, I know. <laughs> anyway, you've been doing well, you said. What else have you been up to? Well, that's great. Just doing some um personal stuff. This is people from Browdy here, okay? Um, just getting some, doing a little bit of creative stuff and things like that. Yeah, that's, that's really good to hear. Um, I've been doing some stuff too. Every year, uh, I do NaNoWriMo, which is that you write 50,000 words in the month of November, and I've done it almost every year since 2009. I took off a year when I was writing my senior thesis, which I think was very fair. And that's it. So I think this is year 12? 12? I'm not sure. 2009, 2010, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, year 12. No, 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 no participation. It's really fun. Yeah. Yeah, and I've, I've completed the 50,000 words every year except when I went to China. Like when I was preparing to move to China. Just because that was pretty intense. Between your brows, okay? And just your brow length. Yeah, but other than that, I've always done it. And I can, I intend to keep doing it, even if I don't really have anything to write. You know, in that case, you just write stream of consciousness character from a character's point of view, or dialogue, just like endless dialogue, or inner monologues and things like that. It's a lot of fun. So, your brow, or your head to your brow, okay? Yeah, do you write it all? I'm not really sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's good. I think it's really good for for a person to get things out on paper. It doesn't have to ever be seen by anyone ever, but it's just good to put into words what you think, what you feel in some way, whether that be like literal just diary or journal or um, through fiction, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. You do from here to here on each eye, okay? But yeah, that's basically what's eating up my time now. These days. Even though it's only the second day. <laughs> um, here to here, like the light of your own. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have like, well, I plan to get to 10,000 words today. And I like. 8,500 or something like that is fine. So I'll probably be able to do that. <laughs> I'm just so insanely competitive that this is something that I'm good at because I see other people saying, I hit 5,000 words and I'm like, okay, well, now I'm gonna hit 10,000 or 15,000. Fine. <laughs> um, okay, anyway, I'm sorry. 
I'm rambling about NaNoWriMo. What a silly thing. Okay, so I to the bottom of your nose. Sorry, I'm not trying to just shove objects in your face. Okay, nose width. I'm also just kind of scatterbrained right now, just <laughs> just because I am. So I'm sorry if I keep like pausing. I feel like I just have so much I'm doing, just like with working and writing and drawing, and it's it's fun. And it keeps me, you know, reading it keeps me occupied. But lip width, okay. But <laughs> it really takes up a lot of mental bandwidth. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, and playing Hyrule Warriors. Oh, here you go. I was introduced to Hyrule Warriors. I decided to get it finally because the second Hyrule Warriors is coming out, Age of Calamity, and I love Breath of the Wild with every fiber of my being. <sighs> and I bought it and I haven't stopped playing yet. This is the first and only break I've ever taken from Hyrule Warriors. <laughs> Can I do each individual lip length? So this is your top lip. Each lip, okay? There we go. That's perfect. You're so helpful and just so cooperative. That makes it sound like I'm training you or something. I'm sorry. Can I get the height of your ears? between these body parts, but just in case there is, it's useful to know and to be as accurate as you can. Just because, like, there are things that you don't necessarily pick up consciously, but you do notice that someone has, like, this slightly lopsided smile, or their eyes are slightly different in some way. I don't know. One brow is a little bit shorter than the other. Your brain does pick up on it, you know, but you might not consciously realize it. Okay, is that Mostly it for the head. I think so. How long is your hair? Can you just pull it out front? Like, to the, you know. Yeah. You know. I'm, I'm a psychopath, I'm sorry. Okay. So that's good. Um. Got the face basically down. I always feel like I'm gonna miss something. <sighs> Let's move on to doing the rest of your body and maybe I'll think of something we need to come back to. Well, so we're gonna need to do your neck, like head to neck, and your shoulder width. And we're gonna need to do your arm length, like your full arm. What is that mean? Arm wingspan <laughs> for, for a person if you have wings, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> and then each arm individually. And then your chest across from your arms. And since it's just going to be a flat drawing, maybe like here to here, sort of on your bicep, and then here to here, sort of on your wrist. So like the length of height of bicep, height of wrist. You know what? It might be 
easier if I just write as I go. Let's get started with what we have. Let's do your neck. And I'll do your neck across too. shoulders here. Just trying to get it down to the millimeter, you know. I mean, if I don't get it down to the millimeter, what's the point of measuring each ear separately and each eye separately? You know. Okay, can you hold your arms out fully like that? Yeah, as you can probably see, I have a Nano Rango shirt from 2012. really excited to finally get that, like, sort of started doing it as a teenager when I didn't have any money of my own, and then I did have some amount of money of my own, so I bought a t-shirt. <laughs> I know, I am extremely ambitious. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do the length of this arm, okay? Just uh, to your fingertips. second. And, um, can I do the width of length of your hands, actually? Um, so you don't have to keep your arms up like that. You can just sort of, even like that, I guess. back out for a second and I'll just go from like your here. So I already kind of got your chest but this is just it's extra precaution. Hmm? I need that side, not the other side. <laughs> it's kind of annoying because this side has inches and centimeters and this one just has inches. Why can't they have both have both, it would be more convenient. Because um, frankly, I do need inches to actually visualize something, but if I'm gonna be like literally measuring it with a ruler or a tape measure, centimeters makes more sense, but... <laughs> Sammy is making a bit of noise. I apologize. You know how he can be. Anyway, but yeah, if you say something is like 10 centimeters high, I have no idea what that means. If you say something is, you know, about eight inches long, then I, I have an idea about that, you know, but, oh well. Okay. Can you stick out your arm like that? I'm going to do the height, or height of your bicep, and then your height of your wrist, okay? Sammy is such a pain sometimes. You know how dogs can be. Okay. Now, I guess I'll need you to be standing, and I can do your torso height from sort of like your shoulders to your waistline. Perfect. Okay. Let me know if I make you uncomfortable at any point, and I can stop, okay? So that's torso length. And I guess 
because I should sort of get the bust, bust and a waist, which is going to be the narrowest part of your waist, and your hips, which is going to be the widest point of your hips, okay? Is that okay? Okay. I know it's, it can be uncomfortable. I'm just I'm not going to touch you. Nothing like that. Terrible way to hold a book. <laughs> to write in it. Hips. I measure your hips again. I forgot the number in my mom's being goofy. Okay. <laughs> and is that mostly it for your upper body there? It's not like you have to get circumferences or anything. It's not going to be like 3D in any way. Okay. I mean, like I could measure your fingers or something, but that seems a bit overkill. It's overkill. I'm not going to do it. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. I'm not going to do it. Just add 10 measurements because I want to measure each finger. I won't do it. Um. So. Next, I guess I will measure the length of your legs, each leg, and then I'll measure hip to knee and knee to ankle on each leg, and then I'll measure cross thigh and cross ankle. Does that make sense? Does that seem fair? Okay. So, let me know again if I make you any uncomfortable in any way, and I'll maybe cross knee. one leg and the other leg okay perfect and hip to knee probably more room for variation in, like, significant variation in, in these sorts of things than in, like, your face, you know? I'm not sure if that's true. It just feels like it could be true. Okay, knee to ankle. of your visible foot and the width of your visible foot as you're standing. Let me shift so I can do that. Touch you, I'm not gonna tickle you, you know? <laughs> and the other one. Perfect. So that's how most of our measurements, surely. Did I get across your thighs and across your ankles and across your knee? I don't think I did. No, I didn't. So, 
I'm just gonna go across, across, across at the widest point of each. So here's your thigh. Okay. measure the knee height actually. It looks like there's a little bit of variation in that. Did you hurt your knee at some point? Oh, that sounds terrible. Yeah, my knee is no good either. <laughs> I actually just sort of had it just collapse under me when I was in front of a bunch of seven-year-olds who thought it was hilarious that the teacher fell down. One kid came up and said, are you okay? So, <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> so that, was, that was nice of him at least. One of the relatively few phrases we knew because it was a children's English class for, you know, Chinese kids. So it was sweet. I will accept it. Okay, so that's your, and your ankle. But yeah, knees not really been the same since. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know the feeling. It's no good. So your bust, waist, hips, cross thighs, cross knees, cross ankles, height of thigh, height of uh, knees, height of ankle. No, not height of ankles. But they do have knee to ankle. Yeah, height of foot with the foot. <laughs> that seems like basically what I probably need. Yeah, okay. If I do draw you more detailed, you know, because right now I'm just going to do a rough sketch without the measurements because I don't have time to measure it all out in the paper and you don't want to sit through that. Um, then maybe I'll get some more measurements if I need them. Okay. Put away my extremely cute Zelda book. <laughs> it's just so cute. sketchbook. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna need you to stay standing if that's okay. It's not too uncomfortable. Let me know if you need a break. You need to sit down. You need to get some water. in this little thing. Okay. Finally, I reached the blank page. And I'm gonna be just clumsy as all hell. Okay. So I won't do much detail on the face yet, and I also have a very detailed sketch of your face. So. drawing pencils and all that. Do shading and stuff. Okay. But in this case, it's just going to be mechanical pencil. Gosh. Okay. Just a simple circle. 
sort of coming out not so good. Okay. just eyeballing it, it seems a little bit off. I think that's right, okay. I'm sort of relying on some standard measurements just as I do this sketch, sort of like the body is <laughs> this many heads tall or whatever, or you know, you can kind of fit a head on each shoulder, or whatever it is, you know. What have you been reading or watching lately? Yeah. Um, yeah, I I don't watch a lot of stuff. You can tell me that if you'd like that. I'd be happy to hear. I just don't have the attention span to watch stuff. You should listen to books. Sounds interesting, yeah. If I like to watch things, I would surely check that out. <laughs> yeah. Now I've heard good things other than what you are saying. those sort of putty erasers. I don't know what happened to it, but I really liked it. I thought it was really cool. I'm not really sure what their proper use is, to be honest, as I think about it. Like, are they for a specific kind of drawing, or are they just a convenient type of eraser? That seems like probably what it is that's convenient, but uh, but I don't know. I don't know if that's it. Okay. You can just leave your hand to the side. I don't have to draw you like that. That's pretty crazy. is kind of wonky. My my arm this is your arm, you know. Yeah. Arms are so mysteriously difficult. Okay, find that legs are sort of easier. I'm not sure. Maybe it feels like legs are a bit more defined in a way, which means there's less of a risk of it necessarily looking just like a glabby tube. You know, there's car sales. <laughs> so, you know, wacky waving things. Yeah, that's, yeah, when my arms end up looking like fairly often. So 
a really, really bad way of measuring. It actually does look much better when I do that. Has that helped with the tough spot sort of with your a shoulder head situation where it's making your head look enormous? And then I made it look teen. <sighs> I still need to work some more on my quarter turned faces in my profile faces, but I don't want to because it's difficult. <laughs> so is this. Okay. sort of wavy or curly hair is a bit easier just because you get to be a bit more free with it and if someone just has straight hair it, it again sort of you risk just sort of having like a just like long straws from the head kind of thing oh that's a face just so you know that was that was a head doesn't look like you were able to give it any kind of depth. I know lots of artists are. I'm just not actually properly an artist. I'm just a person who draws. cooperative and helpful. I appreciate so much. I owe you a bajillion. A bajillion what? I don't know. But I owe you it. I don't like a lot of foods, so I have to learn to make the ones I like. I'm one of those people. It's just too far apart. It's just sort of uneven. I'm just sort of trying to get um, lace down now. I guess maybe I could have had you sit for, for the top half since this is the part where I really need you to stand, but I didn't think of that. I'm sorry. Maybe a 
I'll just scan this and put it into Photoshop and I can change my um, proportions a bit more easily digitally. Not by like cheating and just copy pasting uh, proportions, but you know, by just because it's like a clean erase, you don't have to worry about leaving huge eraser lines or struggling with shading, erasing shading, just because it's Photoshop, you just you use the erase tool or you delete the layer, whatever it is. That helps you fix the issue. stretch really quickly, you can. <laughs> Don't need much stretching, that's fine. That is also fine. Just standing is good for you too, right? Sitting and standing, I guess. Everyone was sort of obsessed with just having a standing desk for a while, but I guess it's like you're supposed to sit and stand, which makes sense, I guess. Get your body in some different positions, get it just moving a little bit even. Especially if you work in like an office where the best bathroom breaks your- or the best walk breaks you're gonna get our bathroom breaks, you know? You walk 60 steps to the bathroom or whatever. Okay. Let me grab my clipboard. It's not gonna clip on, but... make it a little bit easier to have as a sort of makeshift desk. Yeah, I keep messing up, but that's just the way drawing is, right? Like you just, that's why you have an eraser or mini erasers around. I should really have an independent eraser because I'm just going to wear this one down completely. But my art box is somewhere out there. <laughs> put some eyelashes on you because without them you look weird and some brows on you. That's one of the quickest things to sort of humanize a drawing a bit more is like if you're missing the brows it just looks like an alien. Have you seen pictures of like famous people without eyebrows? <laughs> They're just crazy looking. Sorry, I'm just considering it for a second here. <sighs> Should erase some of the guidelines I drew just because they sort of take away from the picture a little bit. go. That looks
looks much better. Much more like you, even though it's not quite you. <laughs> you know, like I said, I'm an aspiring hobbyist artist. I'm not even a good hobbyist artist. You look so concerned your eyebrows. Am I weirding you out too much or just annoying you too much? <laughs> no, it's fine. It's okay to have resting baffled face. <laughs> or RBF resting baffled face. It makes it sort of easier to make something look more like that the person that you're drawing if they have something distinctive like a, a certain expression they rest on or freckles or hair so, even even I know I have these little curlies up here but it makes it sort of it would, if I were to draw myself it would sort of make it easier to make it recognizably me because I just have these hair curlies I just cannot kill Great. I mean, it's great for first try at least. I'm proud of myself. It's not good by any means, but it's good for me as far as I usually am able to accomplish. <sighs> yeah, I think I might, you know, go to some nano meetup. Nano Rainbow Meetups, Nano. Uh, they sort of have these virtual meetups that are cool. I went to one yesterday. And people will do like word sprints where you set a timer for, uh, you know, 15 minutes or something and you type as much and as fast as you can. The goal is not to have a good story at the end, it's to just have a story at the end. Um, and I actually have like a decently fast typing speed, like certified, I went and got a little certification of my typing speed. And since I've been doing this long enough to know that quality is for the other 11 months of the year, not for November, then I'm pretty good at suspending my desire for anything quality at literally at all. So, I'll just type a ton in those 15 minutes. And I'm also so competitive. Like, I literally cannot stress enough how competitive I am. So if I know other people are typing, you bet your ass I'm gonna type a lot. <laughs> just totally serious, like, completely honest words. I'm not copy-pasting anything. I'm not, like, blowing up my word count. But I'm just so competitive. I try not to let people see that. So then it ends up being me competing with myself, and then I'm like, Whitney, chill. <laughs> and then I tell my friends, and they're like, Whitney, chill. That would be a fair thing to just be on my bio. Needs to chill. Okay, that's just too long. Sorry. Just throws everything else off if one thing is too long or too short.
better, actually. That changed, improved a lot. and you're not really thinking so much about the body and what you're actually seeing normally. It's like people who try to get into drawing and they refuse to like <laughs> acknowledge that people have crotches at all, which just draws attention to the fact that there's no like folds anywhere in the area because they felt too uncomfortable, but they end up drawing attention anyway just because of that. Noticing the details is key. Even if you're not that good at it, just adding certain things might help a lot. Nope, not like that though. That's no good. Okay. So, I think we're coming up on this being pretty solid for now. to draw the face because they're, it's so small, so the thing to do might be to draw it sort of separately and do a new sketch that's meant to fit with your full body sketch, but then do it separately in a way that's clearly meant to be a part of it, and then um, put them together sort of digitally and go from there. It's not cheating, it's just sort of like... I mean, it's using the space you have, because digitally you have near infinite space uh, on paper. <laughs> on like a, a sketchbook this size, you've got nothing, no room for, for details on a face if you're drawing a body as well and everything. It's, it just ends up being just a weird looking little thing. hair and stuff. <laughs> Blowing in the non-existent wind. But then your face is like, boop. <laughs> just because there's no room to draw it. Yeah, so I'm just trying to remedy that a little bit. I guess the other option is to draw you and then just plan to draw the face digitally using like graphics tablet. Yeah, I mean that's what it's, you know, lots of drawings are just purely digital and it's a totally good way to go, sort of more painting-like, which I like a lot. Okay, let's call that quits. Well, not to call it quits. Let's, let's call that a, a day. We can just go get something to eat or something, because this kind of thing, I know it's exhausting just standing there and just get something to eat, get something to drink, <laughs> and just we'll enjoy the rest of the evening. Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay. So, let me just put this stuff away. My Zelda book, my sketchbook, my measuring tape, and my clipboard. And we can get going.